Hi, my name is Wade Lyles here in the TaylorMade Tour Trailer at the BMW Championship at Cog Hill for the third round of the Fed, FedEx Cup Playoffs. Uh, let me show you a little bit about our trailer here. What we have is a uh, trailer made by Kentucky Trailers, which is uh, 42 foot long by 15 feet wide, opened up. And what this is, is pretty much a big candy store for all the uh, PGA Tour players in the field this week. As you can see, what we have in the drawers are all of our brand new R9 products. Every drawer in here is pretty much filled with all the, uh, the newest and latest product from TaylorMade Golf. We have the R9 and we have the R9 460, which is uh, the drivers that have been keeping us busy this year. What we also have in here, of course, if you have drivers, you got to have the fairy woods and you got to have the rescues. So as you can see, all these drawers here are filled up with all our fairy woods and rescues. And with the new product, what we also have to have is our sleeves, which is the uh, FCT, Techtol FCT technology from TaylorMade Golf this year. We're able to change the face angles, lives and lofts of the players, fit them whichever way they want. So let me show you what we would do to go ahead and build a custom club for the players out here. What we do is we have a shaft, and of course, what we need to do is we have to go ahead and bond the R9 sleeve onto the shaft, which is a pretty easy, quick process in this trailer. What I've just done was I just ground off some of the paint and made a rough edge for now the hosel to stick to. And in the TaylorMade truck, we use sort of a different thing to, to bond these two together. Most club makers, all the other trucks out here, use a five minute epoxy. What this does is you spray it on a little piece of cardboard, you mix it up, in five minutes it dries up, then you can't use it no more. And it takes about 20, about 20 minutes for it to fully cure before you can hit it. So we don't like that stuff. That stuff doesn't work in here. What we have is we have a 24 hour epoxy we use. This here has been mixed. This here will stay liquid for about three or four hours work time. Then it gets a little bit hard. But of course we don't wait 24 hours for it to dry. I'll show you how we dry it in two and a half minutes. What we do is you put a little bit on the shaft. You put a little bit on the end of the R9 ferrule. We put it on there, we make sure some come out, so we make sure we have a good, good coverage. I'm gonna wipe off the excess. Now I'm gonna put it inside these two curing cells. We're, out, we're the only trail out here that uses these. These were custom made by TaylorMade. So uh, what these do is these concentrate the heat on the hosel to cure the 24 hour epoxy to two and a half minutes. So all I'm gonna do is put this in this heating device there. Go ahead and close the jaws. And now I'm gonna go ahead and hit my timer for two and a half minutes. The red light comes on. So these things here are roughly 380 degrees. And in two and a half minutes, It'll turn this 24 hour epoxy into a hardened club that once it comes out of here, you can take it right outside and hit it. You're not going to hear any creaking, it's not going to break apart. So, in the TaylorMade truck, this is one thing how we can build golf clubs so quick for our players out here. It's a no brainer. Everyone should have yeah, one. So, can, now our timer is on right zero, now. which yeah, means this 24 hour epoxy uh, yeah, right, I got is this. now cured. Yeah, perfect. All I do is wipe off some of the excess that comes out. And if this had a head on it, you can walk outside right yeah, now and go ahead and hit it. So now what we'll go ahead and do is to attach the head. All we're gonna do is just grab a head from our drawer. Yeah, he would want it to What we're gonna put on here is a 469.5. So normally with the guys out here, we'll start off on the neutral position. This will give them a square face angle, and this 9.5 will be right at 9.5. When the player hits it, if it's going too high, all he needs to do is just adjust it. That'll move it a half degree to the R position, we'll move it a full degree. So we've taken this 9.5 and with one small twist, we've made it into an 8.5. So we'll go ahead and start this off. I have a custom wrench. 
after I just use that just to put it on then I use the wrench which everyone receives give it a click to make sure it's on so now that head just came out of the hosel just came out of here and this ain't going nowhere so now that we've made it the head with the shaft now what we need to do is we need to cut just pitch into it cut for the right way and now this club here Cut to our 45 inches. Many types of grips out here. We have the new Golf Pride ones, which are multi-color. You have, I can just keep opening up these drawers. There's more grips than you can imagine. So we'll go ahead and we'll put one of the uh, white and black Golf Prides on. Is that Sergio's uh, preferred grip? This is what Sergio does play, yes. So as you can see now, I have a hands-free gripping machine. All I gotta do, Set the club in, now I'm ready to work. Of course, gripping a golf club, you need double-sided tape. Double-sided tape so it sticks to the shaft and it will stick to the grip. Key thing out here is making sure the tape is very, very smooth. You don't want to get wrinkles in there because these guys will actually feel that. So now the tape is on, I have a foot pedal here that's going to uh, bring out my solvent. All you got to do is put a little bit of solvent on there just to get some type of lubrication to be able to slide the grip on. Now as you can see, pretty much as easy as that. Gonna give it a tap to make sure the butt the butt cap seats on the end of the shaft we'll go ahead and give it a quick look to make sure it's straight with the alignment lines pretty much perfect right there last step we do is we custom swing weight each club to the players prefers so most most swing weights out here are between d2 and d4 so we'll put this on our swing weight scale so I gotta take, I gotta make about a half half gram to get this right at D3. What I have here at my wall is all the assorted weights we use. These all these are swing weight plugs for different clubs. And these first ones here, half gram through 10, are for the R60, R9, the R9460 series. We have all the R7 movable weights right here. We have one gram through 16. And then up here are iron weights that we put in our irons if we need to. So all I'm going to do, go ahead and put in a half gram plug. Use my special three prong wrench. Go ahead and twist that in there. We got the click. Double check. This should have moved just a pinch. As we can see, it's balancing perfectly. In that amount of time, we've just built a player out here at Tog Hill, a brand new driver to try this week.